<laughs> what up, dog? Landscaping employee trap bitches. Today is a good day, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I don't know why. Son, gonna run up in Lowe's real quick and get some window cleaning towels down. Because there's like a leak in my trailer or something. It was storming, and I went in the clean towel uh, bag, and they're all the clean towels are soaked. And I spent 12 bucks on a bag of towels, whatever. But let's turn it. I think that's a good system. Like the blue bag is the clean towels, the black bag is the dirty towels. But I gotta find out what this leak is and caulk it in my trailer. I thought the customer wasn't gonna pick up the phone because we scheduled it like three weeks ago. I believe most people who call for window cleaning are people who are at that level in their life where they're a bit more organized, they they're more financially you know, they're, so they don't never like call in or not call in but just not no, like no show, you know what I mean? But customer calling back. I'm gonna be there to by two o'clock. It's 225 bucks inside, outside, track sills and screens. That's our works package. So okay, awesome. We'll be there with two-man crew. It takes approximately two hours. Please move any furniture away from the windows, any knickknacks, raise up the blinds. Please move any furniture away from the windows, any knickknacks, raise up the blinds. And we'll take care of everything else. Man, sometimes when you're standing in a customer's house and the sun's beating on you and you're cooking and it's so hot, you're cleaning the windows, and you're like, Oof. I get anxiety so bad I could just fucking freak out, dude. Freak out, dude. I looked in the, uh, when I was in this customer's house cleaning the windows like an hour ago, the lady was like talking my head off about her life. And then I looked, I'm cleaning the mirror in the house, and I look in the mirror at myself, and I saw like the gray hair and shit, and I'm like, I just look fucking miserable. <laughs> but that, I mean, that's what it is. That's why it's called work. You know, not every single job is going to be some fun job where you make a ton of money, you know? Yeah. It's real fun, real fucking fun, storming up and down the aisles of Lowe's for 20 minutes looking for, right there. Fucking microfiber claws while wow. guys sitting in the truck on a clock and you're late for a job and you're at a Lowe's that you don't normally go to and you can't find what the fuck you're looking for and it feels like you're going insane in a fucking different dimension. So. Alright, morning, morning. Get ready for work. Keurig. Swim to go cup. Oh, we do? We ran out of creamer? No, I oh, go got a grocery store. Actually, that's why I bought backup creamers. What's up? Get ready for work. Running late. Got a, uh... <coughs> that cold. Everybody gets this this time of year. It's like this whole sinus thing where you're blowing your nose. It's annoying. 
But I got these backup coffee make creamers. I need six of them. They're busy as hell. I worked like 14 hours yesterday. I remember we left for work at. I don't know if the door is 7.45 in the morning. I would like to get out at 6.45, but I'm up till 2, 3 in the morning every night with the YouTube shit. And like working on, you know, my, my books and everything. Kind of a nighttime business for me. I gotta get more water. You know people say, you gotta get out there and chase your dreams. Well, you know what? I'm not trying to be negative here. I'm, I'm, this is the reality of the situation. So, uh, like, I'm up till 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm doing paperwork. I'm at the office. I'm mailing out payroll taxes. This morning I got a uh, fax of paper for unemployment taxes and mail that. And then so much to do. i got to get the oil change in this truck. But, you know, probably worked 14 hours yesterday. And then today will be uh, 12 hours. But it, late last night, well, I was so tired forcing myself to keep working because I, you know, if you don't get it done, it's not going to get done. You say, I said, what am I doing right now? Oh, I'm chasing my dreams. I'm kind of an asshole in the morning. But, you know, some, somebody's sitting there at a computer with bags under their eyes and they're licking envelopes and they're processing paperwork. and That's what chasing your dreams is. Chasing your dreams means uh, leaning in the direction and just working your ass off twice as hard as you used to or three times as hard to get ahead I don't really know what, what is chasing your dreams wow even though I'm late I gotta get the oil change in this truck so that's the way it is To disconnect this trailer, right? I don't think so. No? It should be wide enough. Sweet. Sound good? Perfect. Which bay? This one? What's that? This bay? Yeah. Okay. I just pulled the tra a trailer into the oil change plate. Uh, I just no, I'm good. I got it. But you're going to be a cop? Yep. Oh, good for you. Yeah. I could instantly, when he's like, we have to do a 7.6 safety inspection. Please open the door. <laughs> All right, excellent. Uh, 38 pounds of pressure is recommended for the tires. How's that sound? Perfect. All right, you do have two ways of filling them today. You have standard air, you have premium nitrogen. Premium nitrogen increases your fuel economy, 3 to 5%, and longer lasting tire life, up to 30%. That way you get up to an extra year out of the tires. It is only a one-time investment of $9 per tire. After that, you get free top-offs at any of our Uncle Ed's locations. Oh, did you get nitrogen in there today? Nope. All right, sounds good. <laughs> next, time, next time, make sure your lights are working. So if you could turn your key two clicks forward. Oh, I don't care if they're broken. You don't care if they're no, broken? I'm, I just want an oil change. Alright, excellent. Um, Blades working good for you then? Yes, sir. Alright, excellent. Other than I'm handing you over to my manager, Jeremy. He'll take you through us. You'll be in great hands. Thank you. My pleasure. Staff the manager here. So, you point at all, we don't meet or exceed expectations. Let us know, alright? You always exceed my expectations. Alright, perfect. You. I lost my wallet, man. I don't know where my wallet is. And now, good thing I know the credit card number by heart. So, alright, it's today. How five, you five, five, seven, what? How many miles you got on the vehicle? Way too many. Okay, now that I got the oil change, we gotta drop off the white trailer and pick up the black trailer. Get some keys. Yes, son. Okay, now that I got the oil change, we gotta drop off the white trailer and pick up the black trailer. Get some keys. Yes, son. It was on a, it was a, it was crazy. Well, ain't got no time for that shit, dog. The rain's coming. We got work to do, bitches. <laughs>
do, 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 do. That's my motherfucking day!